Hey guys, what's going on? It's Zach, and today we are playing some Detroit Become Human. Now, this is going to be the series that takes over for Barn Finders, because if you haven't seen it, that game is now officially over for our channel. But for right now, let's get... Ooh! Okay, I hope we're playing as this guy, because he is a god. Like, you, you have to be a god to catch a coin like that. Alright, so we're a negotiator. Uh, what is this? Family photo, alright. Let's check that out. Let's see, anything special about here? Nope, Phillips John, Phillips Caroline, Phillips Emma. Nothing too fancy there. So that's all the fish. Can we save him? Can we, I don't know, can we go like the bathroom or something? And Alright, so we can save him. Alright, so we saved the fish, guys. Uh, if we do anything this episode, save the fish. Alright, so we save the fish, guys. If we do anything this episode, we save the fish. Please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're okay. An android? All right, ma'am. You, you got a problem with an android? Huh? You, why aren't you sending a real person? Hey, I will have you know, I am an independent android, okay? All right, so now we need to find Captain Allen. I don't give a shit. My men are ready to step in. Just give me Okay, I'm assuming Captain Allen is the guy who is uh talking on the phone right now. Well, gee, brother, you ain't having that great of a day. Let's Captain talk to him. Allen. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get right. it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Oh, that's great. Uh, have you tried its deactivation have you code? Tried its deactivation code. It's the first thing we tried. How about its behavior? Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Well, gee, what is that supposed to mean? How are you going to take care of it? Alright. So there used to be a gun there. There was obviously bullets in the bullets box. Uh, let's reconstruct. Oh. Okay, so apparently reconstruct is basically we get to rebuild events. Okay, but there's a clue here. He took the dad's gun. Well, boys, it's over for us. Uh, yeah, he's got he's got the dad's gun. Can't do anything about that. Uh, let's come into the kids' room. See what's in here. Okay, we got some music playing. Okay, so the kid didn't hear the gunshots going off. Uh, what about this tablet? Bro, that's a see-through tablet. Yo, Apple. Where's that Where's that tech for us these days, alright? Alright, so his name's Daniel. I'm sure you're thinking differently about him being your bestie right now, kid. Alright, anything else in here? Uh, no, nothing that I can see. We unlocked a dialogue. Okay, so that could be good for us. Uh, especially when we are having to try and talk this guy down. Anything in the bathroom? No, nothing. Alright, let's come out here into the living room. Jeez, look at us, just walking in here like a bad man. Alright, let's analyze this guy. Let's see, what do we got? Well, thank you, game. We do know that he is dead. Uh, okay, that's a bullet wound. And that's another bullet wound. Uh, you know what? I'm betting that this is going to be a knife wound. Nope, it's another bullet wound, guys. So yeah, no knife wounds for this guy. All bullets. With his own gun, might I add. 
You know, the amount of disrespect that you have to have to shoot him with his own gun. Let's see, where is that? There we go. So there's a tablet over there. So what is going on with this tablet? And why did it get him killed? Okay, let's unlock it. Uh, that's why. Jeez, nine grand, bro. These people out here are just rich. I mean, jeez, they're spending $9,000 on an Android? What's next, huh? Half a million on a helicopter? Actually, no, I'm sure they probably have the helicopter by now. Alright, let's see. Uh, who are you? Once again, guys. He is a dead man. We can tell this by the bullet wound in his chest. It's a great start. Yeah, we're, we're practically Sherlock Holmes now. Uh, let's see. Okay, so him and the android got into a fight. And apparently the kids saw it all go down. Jeez. That's just awful, man. Okay, so he just died. But there's his gun. Okay, so the question is, what's so great about this gun? Why is this such a huge thing? Oh no, we are not taking that gun. Uh-uh. No chance at all. He's already unstable. He's out there on the edge of a building holding a kid. And you want us to take a gun into that? Nah, man, that's just gonna push him over the edge. Alright, we should go out there and be friendly to him. And try and make him, you know, try and make it seem like we understand. Uh, let's see, what's going on over here? Okay, that's nothing. Uh, anything else in the kitchen? No? No? Alright, so it looks like it's just these few things over here. And then we get to go do our job as a negotiator. Aw, oh, bro, how are you gonna lick that stuff? Alright, you don't know what that is. That was on the ground. Alright, it's fresh blue blood. And you still licked it, bro. That's disgusting, man. Alright, you should go pop a breathman or something. Alright, we got a child's shoe with human blood on it. Well, that's great. Uh, hopefully the kid isn't, like, missing a leg or something. Uh, okay, so she's not missing a leg, but she is bleeding from the leg. So, let's get out there, and let's go and save this kid. Bruh! I just wanted to come out here and talk to you, and you Nobody shoot me with right. a gun. No, no, Alright. Oh jeez, we got snipers on all the rooftops. Man, this is getting tense. All right, let's use his name. Hi, Daniel. Now, my name is Connor. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. Bruh, we I'm were just you in your this. house, and you're asking us, how do I know your name? Okay, that helicopter is really not helping us out right now. Uh, we have to gain his trust and approach him slowly. You know what, let's be calm about this, I know right? you're angry, Daniel. But you need to trust me, and let me help you. I don't want your help. Nobody can help me. Trust me, you're gonna want our help. Alright. I, I, I don't know about you. Alright, I don't know if you know this, but, uh, yeah, we're kind of a god when it comes to throwing coins between our hands, so... Trust me, I'm sure you're gonna want our help. Emma we're very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me. How did she lie to you? How did she lie she to you, bro? Me, but I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no. Bro. They were going to replace you. Come on, And man. you became upset. That's what happened, right? I mean, I yeah. I part of the family. He really was going to be replaced, and then I I kind of just... Got angry about it. I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with. Alright, you know what? Let's be sympathetic. Listen. 
I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. Right, it's not. I never wanted this. Now put the gun down, bro. I love them. All right, you now know? put the gun down. But I was nothing to them. Come on, man. Just a slave to be ordered around. Bro, how much more do I have to convince you before you put that gun down? I can't stand that noise anymore. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. Okay. All right. To be fair, I don't know why they were there in the first place. They're just making this worse. There. I did what you wanted. All right. He has to trust us. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. He's stabilizing. I want everyone to leave. Bro. And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Yeah, you and I both know that we ain't gonna let you do that. You know what? Let's go for it. We're sacrificing ourselves, guys. Oh, yo. Yeah, all I'm gonna say is, we're a legend. If this guy doesn't, like, give us a freaking trophy or something. Like, I know we're dead, but, like, dude, you should build a statue after us after that. But yeah, welcome to Detroit Become Human, guys. Uh, starting off great, one of our characters just died. But you know what? It's okay, he died a hero. And here is the flowchart. So we get to see everything we did, everything we, well... I mean, we get to see what we could have done, but we get to see all of the options. Uh, negotiate. Okay, so this is where negotiation started. And this is where things could have turned. So we picked sacrifice ourselves, but we were actually missing one that led into this top bit here. Okay. You know what? Let's keep going. On to chapter two. November 5th, 2038. This is the top of the range household assistant. Okay. Come on, Zoe. So something cooks 10,000 different dishes. And handles the kitchen. And somehow it actually works. Honey, it looks amazing. I can barely cook two dishes. And yet this thing can cook 10,000. Like, honestly, I want to see that android right there go up against Gordon Ramsay or something like that. So I feel like that would be a pretty crazy showdown. Okay, is no one going to talk about us? Like... We're standing here. I know we're standing here at least. And no one's just gonna say a word about us. There it is. Okay, who are you? It's a bit difficult getting it back in working order. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? The car hit it. Stupid accident. Oh really? See. Anyway. I get the feeling it's a bit more than that. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. That'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400. Okay, Where's so what's our name? Kara. My name okay. is Kara. So we're Kara. Alright, so getting right into it on November 5th, 2038 at 9.30am. Who's this guy? Like, I swear we were just Kara. So why are we this guy now? Alright, well let's... We have to go to Bellini Paint Shop. Okay. So it's over there, apparently. Uh, let's get walking. 
But that kid over there is crying. What's wrong with you? Why are you crying? And this guy's just dying. Alright, let's get across the street. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I don't want to get hit by a car. You know, uh, we know what happened the last time somebody got hit by a car. Man, that was just rude. I mean, I know he's supposed to be a janitor android, but like, you didn't have to throw a cup at him. Did you really, though? I mean, he ain't wrong. They care for our own. Why do you look at me so, demon? You know, know why you can't know. I, bro? I can see through you. You are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. I mean, that's a pretty big accusation. Uh, well, let's be real, guys. We no if we do end up having to destroy Detroit as this character, I'd be down for it. Let's get over here to Bellini's paint shop and let's get our order that we apparently have to pick up. Um, I don't know what we're doing getting paint. Let's see, what do you got for me? Ooh, that's pretty cool. Identification verified. All right, so what you got? That little box? That's it? Your order number eight four seven. All right. That will be sixty three ninety nine. Sixty four dollars. Confirm payment. Bro, we're getting scammed. There's no way that box is worth sixty four dollars. Transaction complete. I believe that like three or four of those jars back there are sixty four dollars, but this little box, nah, son, you you just scammed us out of sixty five dollars. All right, so what do we have to do now? Uh, press left control to change the camera. You know what, that would have been great a few minutes ago while we were trying to look around the house. But now where are we going? We have to take the bus home. All right, so let's head this way. Bus stop's not this way. Well, you know what, what if I want to go in there, huh? What if I want to make that the way I get to the bus? Okay. So we got a protest going on here. This is probably a mistake, but we are walking this way. Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Hey man, who are you calling a tin can, alright? I will have you know, I am a very happily made silicone can. Alright, let's get up. There we go, get up. Bruh, I don't know what you honestly expected to happen. I mean, you know we're an android. You know we ain't gonna feel pain. So why are you kicking us while we're down? We're gonna fuck your bitch ass up. Yeah, waste it. Do it. All right. I mean, you go ahead and try, bro. I'm fairly certain I could just straight up kill you with one punch. Just teach this bastard a lesson. Yeah, just one well placed punch, just like that. Damage it, I'm gonna. And he'll just be done. You can take your job next. Let's see how you like it. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Run along. All right, pal. All right, well, let's get on this bus really quick. Come on, catch the bus. Catch the bus. Catch the bus. No, wait. Bruh, the bus was right there and it took off without us. All right, here we go. Here comes the bus. Android compartment. Bruh, they're really sticking us at the back of the bus. Jeez, man. Oh. 
Alright, so where is this bus even taking us? Like, where are we going? Don't tell me that's it. Oh my god, that's the end of the chapter. Alright, so that's the end of that chapter. Let's move on to chapter number three now. Alright, so what do we got going on here? Yeah, please don't tell me we don't li we live down here because these houses, they look like they just went through a hurricane, a tornado, and an earthquake all in one. Bro, where'd you learn how to drive? Last time I checked, you park in the street, not on the sidewalk. All right, sidewalk is for people. The street is for cars. And yet here you are parking half your dang truck on the sidewalk. All right, uh, you know what? We don't want to go that way, we want to go this way. But I do want to look there and just see what's going on. And no, I'm not coming. I don't want to join you. All right, you're sketchy. All right, looks like they're building like some kind of highway up there. Bro, what if I don't want to go in, huh? What if I don't want to join you? You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, You're telling me he meals, made this much mess in two of... weeks? Bruh. God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Nah, son, I know you were not just talking about your That's kid Alice. like that. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Alright, I'm hating Got this it? guy even more now. Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. All right, so what do we have to do? We have to collect the dishes, vacuum, and check the backyard. We also have to do the trash. Uh, let's see, that's clean, but that looks like a vacuum there in the corner. So let's turn that on. You know, I lied, that's not a vacuum, that's the UFO. That's the UFO from Barn Finders, how did it get here? Uh, Alice, let's not clean that right, that right now. Let's get the trash. Let's get that taken care of. Then we can get all the rest of this stuff done. Wait, what is this guy on? Yeah, seriously, how many pizzas were you guys having? Like, I know I was gone for two weeks, so you probably didn't have any home cooked meals, but like. Seriously though, you don't need that many pizzas. Maybe. Depends on what you need. Yo, boys, I think he's a drug dealer. Yeah, yeah. I can get that. I'm pretty sure he's a dealer. Stay on. I'll be there tomorrow. TV on. Yo, I'm pretty sure he's dealing. He's dealing the uh. <laughs> Okay, why are we turning around? Come on, we want to walk down the here, down the stairs. We want to throw away our trash. All right, so we do have the bus coming. Uh, ooh, and we can look at it. All right, so the bus is here. And there we go. I'm assuming we're good to leave now. Yep, okay. So let's head back inside and let's continue doing some of these chores that we have to get done. Even though, let's be real, we should probably re leave them for Todd. But at the same time, we know he wouldn't be able to do anything without us, so. Let's see. Why are you beeping like that? Missing a component. Well, that's great. So it's like we'll be washing everything by hand. Alright, so where is all the rest of the stuff? We got something there. We got some more tidying to do there. And I think that's it. Alright. Bruh, he out here smoking like that. Bruh, 
What are you even smoking that comes out red? Uh, what is this? That's just a taxi. Okay, where do we have to get these dishes from? In here, apparently. So let's come in here. Alice, what you doing under there? Why are you hiding under the table? Alright, let's come and bring those over here. Get them all cleaned up. And then we can go and check the outside. Get out of the way, vacuum. Get out of the way before I have to send you back to Bobby Gray. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, uh, that is one of the characters from our Barn Finder series. I'll leave a link to that up here in the top right corner. Go check that out after this video. It's a pretty good series. Yeah, please tell me we don't have to do that tapping D thing for every single dish. We'll be here for hours like that. Yo, Alice, why are you just staring at us like that? Come on, kid. You supposedly named us. Why are you just creepily watching from the other room? Kara. Yes, Todd. Bring me a cold beer. Okay, out of context, that would have been so weird. You know what? I lied. It's still weird. Uh, but you know what? Why do I have to get you a beer? Huh? You can you can go get it yourself, bro. Alright, so I'm pretty sure that's everything done except for the backyard. So let's come out here and let's do that really quick. Alright, so what do we got going on out here? We gotta take down the laundry. And there's also something at the fence that we can do. Okay. Let's look out the fence for some odd reason. Okay, so that just leads to the alley. So what was the point of that, then? Alright, let's pick this up. And let's grab up all this laundry that we apparently need to redo. Probably because it's been sitting out here for two weeks. Because we all know Todd wasn't doing it. Let's put the clothes down. Let's get them put in the washing machine. And now we need to grab the soap. Okay, but why does it look like there's like a little packet in it? Yo, we found his stash. Red ice. Okay, so that's the stuff he's been smoking. Oh no, he's behind us. Gather, gather now! Oh no, 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 no. My stuff. No, please, come on. We already lost one character. We don't need to lose another. You just stay the fuck out of my business. Unless you want to piss me off. Brother, you asked us to do the laundry, all right? It's not our fault that you left your drugs in the soap. Let's pour some soap in. Let's get that laundry started. And now, we still need to report to Todd. Even though he's quite clearly abusive as anything. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. You know what? Can we walk in front of him? Yes, we can. Man, I wish we could just stand there and just block his whole view. Uh, let's see. Anything over here? Yes, there is. Okay, so we got a bunch of rejection applications. Alright, so it looks like uh, your boy Todd is uh, now going to be called your boy Broke. He very clearly does not have any money. Uh, what do we got to do in here? We got to make the bed. We got to clean up all of that. Bruh, you're crazy. Right, let's tidy that up. Jeez, how does this one guy leave such a big mess everywhere? All right, let's make the bed. And then we can tidy up the other bit right next to it.
Okay, there goes Alice. So now maybe she's going to her room or something. Let's tidy all these up. Okay, something just fell out. Oh no, I can already see it. Alright, we're getting replaced, guys. Uh, the next upgrade is coming. We're gonna end up being like that android from the start. It's going crazy and trying to shoot everybody. Alright, let's ventilate this room because Lord knows it probably needs it. After all the red ice that Todd's been smoking. Let's see, that's Todd's room done. Watch it. Seriously, bro, we weren't even in your way. There was no need to do that. Now we have to clean the bathroom. That's so nasty, bro. Alright, let's pick up the clothes in this bathroom. And let's organize those bottles over there next to it. And just get everything looking all tidy in here. Make it look all neat. Let's see. Ooh, there's a mirror. All right, we can look at ourselves. Don't know why, but you know what? We can do that. Uh, we got a mop, which, bro, this looks like a broom at a curling event, all right? Look at that, we're even moving like it's a curling event. All right, so that should be the bathroom done now. So now we can go into Alice's room. So what you got going on in here, kid? Tidy up your room a little. All right. We only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? So we Alice got Alice in Wonderland. Wonderland. Clever. Of course. Clever game. All right. Well, let's make the bed, and then pretty sure we need to open a window as well. Bro, we got our bed making technique on point. All right, so let's ventilate this room. Ooh, there's a ledge there. All right, well, that's good to know in case we ever have to, you know, climb out the window there. All right, let's be friendly. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. Hey, you know what? Let's be friends. Uh. What are your interests? You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. All right, your now why did you name us Car? Like seriously, like what's why that right. name? It's nice. How did you choose it? Bro, kid, talk to us. You're very quiet. Come I on. Hope I don't scare you. This kid this kid, we can't win with this kid. Okay, I lied. We might have just taken a win with this kid. Uh, what did she give us? She gave us a key. So the real question is, what needs a key in here? Uh, apparently that box right there on the shelf needs a key. Alright, let's open this up. AW Treasures. Alice Winter Treasures. I don't know if that's actually her last name. I'm just guessing. All right. So we got a little clover right there. And we got family photo. All right. Just love how we're uh, we're casually not included in that. Okay, so we got Alice bleeding from the head. And we have her and her dad. I can already see where this is going, guys. The dad got us and is now taking his anger out on us so he doesn't hurt his kid anymore. Jeez, that is so bad on so many levels. Now we're putting that back. All right, we need, we need to go have a chat with Todd about this. Like, boy, why are you breaking off our arm? Todd, where are you at? 
better quit smoking, buddy. We got a serious conversation on our hands. What are you doing? I'm now. Uh, I'm playing. Oh no, this is not good. Guys, he's high, and now he's angry. This ain't good. I think your dad's a low life. Alice, get out of there. Huh? Fucking loser. Can't get I mean, yeah. Didn't yeah, we really did. Don't you think I tried to make things work? Did you, though? Did you really, I though? Someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! So the question is, who messed you it up the me. first time for you, then? You hate me, don't you? Oh, boy. Say it! Why are we not getting in the middle of this? Why are we not doing anything? God. What am I doing? We're just standing there watching everything. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What is happening? You know I love you, don't Why you? are we not helping? You know I love you. I mean, do you really though? All right, and that's chapter 3. Jeez, we have a lot that we unlocked in this episode. Or in this chapter, really. Yeah, look at that. We were only missing the one at the very start. And to be fair, we could have also disturbed Todd, but eh. It's fine. We'll save that for another time. Uh, discovered a way down. You saw a gun. Alright, not too bad. Not too shabby. But that is chapter 3. We're going to save chapters 4, 5, and 6 for tomorrow's episode. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button down below. And make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. So you know when we post more content on the channel. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with the next episode.